Hey Dazzler, this is Ejini from TechnicolorPriestess.com and a few days ago I shared that I have sort of been dwelling in frumpy town. So I'm a soul style coach and for me it is incredibly important to make self-care and expressing yourself and your, your soul and your essence through style a priority and I have definitely not been doing that. So it was a confession for me. And now I'm trying to get back on track, back on the old style and self-love and self-care wagon. And EFT uh, tapping really, really, really helps me. So I thought, hey, why not do it along with you so that you can sort of join me on the ride back to self-care. Self -care. Um, so I want to take you through a couple rounds. Okay, so here we go. So karate chop point. Even though <clears throat> I haven't been making self-care a priority in my life lately, I completely love and totally accept myself. Even though I've been neglecting my looks, I've been neglecting um, just making myself a priority, I haven't really been allowing space in my life for me, I totally accept and fully love myself. Even though I have allowed the, my, self, my lack of self-care to lower my vibration and I haven't been using my magical toolkit as much as I, I know I should to feel good and to raise my vibration um, and I haven't been liking what I've been seeing in the mirror, I completely love and fully accept myself. For the last few weeks, I've just been totally ignoring my self-care. The person I see in the mirror doesn't really look at all like who I know I am on the inside. I feel like I just haven't had the energy or the motivation to really give a rat's ass about how I look and I don't like that because that's not me. That is definitely not how I roll. I have not been making myself a priority. I have not been um, putting you know style and self-care and really honoring my body uh, on my on my day-to-day -day priority list. I have been totally misaligned. I have been, uh, yeah, misaligned. I've been out of alignment with my beliefs and how I'm showing up in my life. So I haven't been showing up in a way that resonates with me and that feels true and that's in alignment. I, the way I'm dressing and the way I'm neglecting myself, not in alignment with who I am and who how I want to show up in this in this life okay <sighs> and now we're gonna do the second round which is sort of you know the positive side of it okay so even though I haven't um, been paying attention to my self-care you know what that's okay I'm not perfect I fell off the self-care wagon and that's okay I deserve to be forgiven Today, as they say, is the first day of the rest of my life. So today is a perfectly good day to start making self-care a priority. Today, I start making self-care a priority again. I am human and sometimes it's okay. I just don't walk my talk and that doesn't mean I'm a bad person. It does not mean I'm a hypocrite or that I, I don't love myself. Um, it's just, it is what it is and that's okay. I am ready to make self-care a priority. I honor and respect myself so much and in these moments I am okay showing myself compassion. I show myself compassion. I am compassionate with myself and caring. I have a magical toolkit that I dip into to raise my vibration to feel better. Self-care is one of those magical tools in my toolkit. I create space and energy for self-care. Self-care is a priority. It allows me to honor myself and to really show up as who I am. Self-care is a priority and I am ready to embrace it. Self-care is a necessary and huge part of my life and I am ready to embrace it. So there you go. Hopefully you'll be ready to go get your razzle dazzle on. Uh, take the next train out of Frumpyville like I have done. And um, please let me know in the comments how this worked for you. If you dig it, um, if you felt a shift, I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Bye.